my name's Mick Hawkins. Um, I'm a team lead in the LMS platform team. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll take you through a couple of things that we've been working on. So um, just sort of starting in uh, site admin um, to take everybody through kind of the process for setting up and, and getting the um, sharing to MoodleNet integration working. So at the moment, we've got the sort of inbound settings, which is the existing um, settings for sharing into the LMS. Um, but we've got this experimental picture flag here for enabling sharing to MoodleNet. So if I pop that on and refresh here. We should then get some outbound settings, which we do. Um, at the moment, I've already got uh, MoodleNet Central configured, but maybe I want to have my internal one. So I'm just going to click Create here. Um, and Pick MoodleNet. Um, let's let's say it's MoodleNet local, um, and I'll do the right thing here. Um, and we have dynamic registration here, so we don't need to do the client ID and secret. Um, and here we go. So we've got MoodleNet local. Um, it's not a login provider, um, but it's got discovering internal services. So now, if I come back here and refresh. We can pick the correct instance. Awesome. So um, now, if I jump into um, a course, I'll open up a couple of activities. So these to open. Um, we've got an assignment here. Um, share to MoodleNet. Um, we get confirmation here of what we're sharing, an assignment called Hockey Rules. We're sharing it as a resource. Um, in future, there'll be other content types. Um, and we're sharing to MiddleNet Central. Um, pull the right name in there, but um, <laughs> that's okay. Um, some of this front end stuff still getting a bit of a polish, but uh, we'll go share and um, it will try and package and send. And something went wrong. Uh, maybe the connection's down, um, but we sort of, you know, give people the opportunity, if it's enabled, to go and contact their site support if there's some issues so that they can um, deal with any connection problems and things like that. Um, hopefully in the future we'll have some more specific kind of um, feedback there, but um, to get us started, we're just sort of providing the support that's available. Um, so let's try um, a quiz in the same course. Um, and if we try and share this, again, we see it's a skater quiz called Let's Quiz. Um, and we go share. Um, it's going to package that up as a Moodle backup file, um, send it off to MoodleNet, um, who will return us uh, a link to the draft area where they can go and complete uh, you know, things like the license and, and all this sort of stuff. So now I get a link to that if I click here. Um, this is obviously um, a mock, but um, takes us to MoodleNet where we can fill in the licensing and the level and any of these other details and then go and publish when we're ready. Any questions? Michael, I just put one in the chat. Can you have this connected to the multiple sites or just the one? Sorry, say that again. <clears throat> Can you actually have this connected to multiple middle net sites or just one at a time? System wide. Uh, um, at the moment, just one at a time. Um, you can configure multiple in the OAuth two services, but um, you can only select one at a time at the moment. Um, and uh, the, the idea is that um, if I jump back in here, um, the idea is that this will be replaced in the UI in the next phase with something like a drop down or, or similar that will let um, teachers choose if the admins allowed more than one, but um, to keep it kind of MVP, yeah. we've um, kept it at a single one at the moment. Yeah, cool. That's that's really good work. The other only other question I had is have we considered just iframing in? that middle net draft page in here rather than sending them out to another page? Um, Again, I know this is MVP, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess it might get a bit busy if you're working a whole interface within another interface. And this is sort of, um, I, I guess it's worth mentioning that phase one, this is sort of synchronous and you're waiting for this. But in the next phase, you're not going to sit there waiting. It's going to. 
um, put it away into a kind of share history interface um, where you'll be able to just let it go and do its thing, um, especially if maybe you've got a big video file you're sending. Um, and then in your own time, you can go back to uh, the list and see when it's finished. And then you can go and just sort of do it when you're ready. Cool. It's really good work. Um, what about courses, backups? Uh, can we send those this way as well? Um, so that's probably the first or second thing in the next phase. Um, the UI is being designed in a way to support it, and we do have um, some initial work done on developing the UI. Uh, so essentially here it would say course and the course name, and then in this area here you would have a list of the activities in the course so that you can customise what you want to put in. So for example, maybe you want all the quizzes, but you don't want the forums or you don't want the wiki or something like that. You can uncheck those, and then when you hit share, it'll only... Um, create the backup of the parts that you want. 